our first guests are two of our favorites. They star together in the new movie, Thunder Force. Please welcome my friends, Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So, so a lot of people don't know this, but you're, you're really best friends in real life. How long have y'all known each other? Ooh, what, 25 years? years. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said more than 20. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, more than 20. Yeah. 20 yeah. We're solidly coming in at a 25. Yeah. But I'll, yeah. We, we can pretend and say over 20. Yeah. yeah. It's, it sounds like Melissa is paying more attention to counting the years than Octavia, but that's okay. <laughs> Melissa, so you're in Australia. Um, how are yeah. you keeping in touch? How, how are you both keeping in touch? You know, Zoom has become a, a magical thing. Uh, once a week, Octavia and I do this weird thing. It started, started during the, you know, kind of, I don't know, quarter of the way into the pandemic. Um, and we just weren't seeing people and, you know, she'd come and sit in my driveway and we'd sit like 20 feet apart. And then somehow we were like, let's do a group kind of cocktail thing every Friday night. And so we started getting a group together and then Ben was like, I have to do something useful. He's like, I'm going to watch a different Oscar winning movie every week. And everyone's like, Ooh, I'll do that. And then someone's like, I'll do a Q and A on Friday and whoever wins gets like stupid prizes. So we started 30, what is it, Rock, 36 weeks ago? We've watched 36 yeah. Oscar movies. I think we started with like A Man for All Seasons or something. Mm -hmm. And then by the by the time we got to Lawrence of Alabia, uh, Lawrence, I almost said Lawrence of Alabia. <laughs> a different movie. So, so let me get this straight. You're watching porn, is that what? <laughs> So we've watched 36 weeks of porn. It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> of Arabia, different movie. Um, and somebody dressed up in full costume. And it's a bunch of like writers, actors, and producers. And it was the most pathetic thing because one by one you saw people like, oh, you're, you're going to show up in costume? Okay. And one by one people were like, I'll be right back. And they would come back with like, and it's all just, it's like, you know, a paper towel hat. We're making it out of like socks and like old bras. And now we all dress up every week. Sometimes it's inanimate objects from the movie. Sometimes it's characters. And it's just frankly gotten out of hand. It's pretty elaborate. You guys always do the best job. You and, uh, uh, well, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you are always good. I'm always yeah, so on the tail end. Really? Well, it's pretty great. Like someone built a full Sherman tank out of cardboard that like operated. Wow. So, so I, I just also learned this this morning. I, you know, I knew that y'all were friends, but that you, before y'all were famous, you tried to get on the prices right, both of you together? Yes. <laughs> wow. Still trying. <laughs> well, and also we had like the rest of us, like Octavia just wanted to go. She loved it. And we were all like, she's bizarrely lucky. Like she's the one that like walks through a casino and like touches a thing and like uh, touches a slot machine and like it tips over and like she's covered in gold bullion. <laughs> like she's just this super lucky, like her karma's not shockingly wonderful. So we all <laughs> met up at five and I was like, for sure. We were giving like fake sad stories of like, I was like, I was a firm girl from a tough city. And they were like, keep it moving. <laughs> like, they just didn't want anything to do with us. But I did have a puppy. I got a, I may have been at a bar the night before on Melrose Avenue called the Snake Pit. And some real jerk was trying to sell a puppy in a, in a bad way. And I, he wanted $62.50, which I had $3.11. So everyone in the bar chipped in money to get this puppy away from this guy. So somehow at 1230 at night on Melrose Avenue, I was like, well, let's go home, Phil. And I just walked <laughs> home with this puppy. So I brought it to the Price is Right. Very early. We had to be there very early. And be there at like 5 a.m. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you gave that dog a better life. I mean, why? <laughs> what, what did you do with it at the Price is Right? 
Eventually a friend came, I had to stand in line for a couple hours with it. And I like, I didn't have a le I was not, I did not expect the night before to be adopting a puppy. So I had like old vintage scarves around its neck. I was like, oh, this is not a good idea. This is like a choking mechanism. So I had to just keep holding this wiggly puppy. And eventually a friend came and was like, okay, I'll take it for you while you go inside. Well, I, I think that's a wonderful story that you took the puppy away from somebody who was selling it in a bad way, especially at midnight. So, um, all right, we have to take a break. We're going to talk about your new movie when we come back. And, uh, and, and now think of more porn names, because that's a good one. That, that really is. There's, there's many we can think of. We'll be that's right back. You're best friends in real life. You play best friends and superheroes in uh, Thunder Force. Tell everybody about the movie. Uh, Melissa, <laughs> will you do it? <laughs> Um, so we play on TV, and we've been trying to do something. We haven't done something together in, uh, it seems like a million years. And Ben wrote this movie called uh, Thunder Force, and it is about two, two people that have grown up together, became best friends uh, as children, really, and then kind of drift apart. And then Octavius is brilliant geneticist. Um, I drive a forklift and kind of drink beer, so it seemed on brand for me. And uh, we get back together as adults, thinking we're going to go to this, this class reunion. And she has developed, we live in a world of miscreants and super, and super villains. And Octavia's character's parents uh, were actually killed by the miscreants when she was little. And her whole kind of life's uh, drive has been to come up with technology to fight back. And she's done it. And she's about to make herself into a superhero. And I accidentally um, inject myself with it. <laughs> And you're both doing your own stunts. So how was, was that something you chose to do? You didn't want stunt people? Well, I'll say this. Melissa does a lot of her own stunts. Um, I, 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 I where, where Melissa is fearless, I am fearful. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like a well, she, she loves a like harness. A I love a harness. I'm like, swing me around, throw me against walls. And Octavia was in the harness, but hadn't been lifted yet. And she was like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm like, you're not off the ground yet. You're still sitting on the ground. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God.